about was gifts, talents, and abilities, and just seeking clarity and direction or insight into moving more deeply into expressing those gifts and using. Beautiful, beautiful. So when you just sit here right now, what's the deepest impulse beyond words, just feeling? Find in your body where that exists, or in your heart where that exists. And feel, just like you're doing something. And what are you experiencing in this moment now? Um, just experiencing so much love and mm -hmm. create creative energy. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. And so, whichever tools, whichever of the variety of skills that you have, that you use as extensions to that beautiful depth of love are just like the colors in the painting. We just get to choose. But what you're really here for, of, from, is this love and expressing it. Yeah. So do you have specific wondering, should I use this skill or that skill, or what are you wondering? Yeah. I guess j just more like confirmation of my gifts, talents, and abilities. Yes. And sensitivities. Yes, yeah, so you're very, very sensitive and strong in your many different ways that you're able to perceive life so intricately. And you pick up on so many different aspects of others in, in many ways, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically. You're extremely intuitive. You're extremely observant. And you've built so many talents and skills, and you, you're coming from this beautiful place of love. So how perfect, how wonderful. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a grateful one to be able to behold this, and so lucky to encounter you again. Yeah, it feels wonderful. I can feel mm -hmm. how whatever gifts or talents you use will just, you know, overflow and splash into to others. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So just let yourself enjoy for a moment who you are with that beautiful outpouring of love that comes so naturally to you. And what's happening in this moment now? Um, just the whole idea of kind of feeling how there is so much information that I pick up on and sometimes the assimilation of that information leaves a little bit of uncertainty or confusion because it is all unseen energy. So yes. it's we were just doing a big group process about that this morning, and I really get that this empathic nature you have allows you to be feeling, hearing, seeing, sensing so much coming from so many different sources. And that can be confusing and overwhelming when you're trying to ascertain well, what's really real here, or what's really ma what matters here, or what do I do with all this? It can be quite mind-boggling and confusing. So imagine yourself now, as you receive all the information you're used to receiving, just staying in the love, like the love is just walking through all of it, and that's what really matters. And then. You can tell right now if something else is really important, it's grabbing your attention, right? You can feel that, a certain thought, someone else's thought, whatever it is. Your thought and others, they're, they're mixing together at the right time because it's needed information. Uh -huh. But it doesn't mean it's actually accurate information, it just means it's important information. And so something about you is synchronizing with something occurring with someone else you can merge into that energy and find out where that takes you. Mm -hmm. it, it feels like 
a lot of my life's navigation is merging with different energies and almost like birds catch a thermal yeah it's like certain vibrations are inspirational in their beauty or in their expression of love and when i unite with that or become one with that or maybe more accurately realize my oneness with that yeah i kind of can ride those feelings and that inspiration yeah because then you're like a beautiful collage and all the information is just this beauty with the rays of light moving through you and then you don't get st- when we start asking who why did they say that what does it mean is it the right path all that stuff can get us very into complicated mental math but when like you said you just merge into the sea of love and these different flavors of others are coming through you passing like the weather then they're not really others it's just one beautiful collage of love and it's just fine it just is and that's your beautiful gift that you have access to that sometimes when i merge with something that it seems with some people there's a lot of like interference patterns or yeah. a lot of like obscure darker energy and so all of a sudden I'll be in that love and then I might connect with someone and it's nothing they said or anything in their face but it's like whoa like I just got like splashed yes there's all kinds of realities and weather going on on the planet and some feel very contracted some feel very fear filled some feel very joyful some feel very light and so whatever passes through you you just want to keep going back into that you understand completely that universal love in yourself and then it just keeps passing through like the weather but you want to use discernment so of course to whatever extent you can choose to be interacting more with that which lifts you up and contributes to you you don't want to just be you're out there contributing to it you then you form a web with others that's much more nourishing mm-hmm. yeah yeah I've done a lot of writings in the past and I felt like that was something that I was going to use to share with the world it, um a lot of poetry and Wait. just why don't but you I, do that yeah why don't you do that why don't you share, go ahead and share the poetry and write your books and you, your gifts are needed they're desired they're lovely they're wonderful they're to be shared if that if that gives you joy if that feels good for you yeah what kind of affirmation or confirmation are you looking for what would that mean if you were confirmed or affirmed <laughs> i guess i would just feel encouraged good go for it then yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's beautiful what you have it's it's lovely it's so many people would love to have the access to the love and all the gifts you have to use as vehicles to share it and i'm so happy and proud of you for being willing to be that courageous and vulnerable to go ahead and share that yeah. i guess i i just i get tripped up because i don't know where like how to do it or where to put them like Yeah, you just you just take one what you take a baby step and then then you take the next baby step. That's all anyone ever can do. You just share one poem and then you the next idea will come as to where to print it so someone can read it and then you know you have a bunch so they become a book that you create. It's all there. That that seems daunting, but it's actually simple. You just take one step and then something else will appear to help you. Uh-huh. Yeah. So do you have an idea like an action idea like one step you'd like to go ahead and perform go with um maybe just edit edit them down into a compilation Good. so that yeah. I can put it into book format. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That sounds like a great a great starting point from where you are now. You've already created them. So the next starting point Yeah. 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 
And you can, and then you can put them in free books. You can self-publish them, or you can let them publish or whatever you feel you prefer. But you can do either or both. And then you just ask the universe to help you know where to share, how to share, so the word gets out. But I think everything just is intention. It's intention and it's creation. So you you set your intention and you take a step and then life will propel you to the next step. Mm -hmm. Is there any doubt about that or concern about that? Yeah. It, it feels like there's something that holds me back from like, I think we've talked about this or touched on it before, but just fully like embodying the, that strength and those gifts and like, I don't know, pursuing in, I'm very good at like the non-physical energy or just the creation aspects. Yeah. But when it comes into like materializing the creativity and putting it somewhere, I get like stopped up. I feel like I need help. Well, would you like? What I'm hearing is you would like to uh, materialize the poems into a book. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so the next step is to edit, right? Okay. Compile them and edit. And then if you want to self-publish, there's lots of places nowadays where it's very easy to do that. Like CreateSpace.com is an example. Uh huh. Yeah. And then you just do it. <laughs> And then if, if you really can't do it, you find someone who can do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it sounds, um, I, I get it. I feel, I feel how you feel like that. I'm saying it like it's so easy, but it doesn't feel so easy for you. It feels much easier to write the poems and step into eternity and then get, get into the details of the physical, the physical world. So, okay, so when I say, you just put the poems into the book and go to createspace.com and publish it. What does that bring up? Like, where? What are you afraid you can't do? Like, you don't know what to do, or are you afraid that if you do it, something will occur? What's the hesitant? No. I I feel like maybe I need someone to help me edit and choose. Like, I want. I guess I want like another mind to like. That's really smart. Yeah, that's a great. That's really great because when you're going to share with lots of minds, you want input from more than. So you're the writer, so you need more, more others to be invited in to help with editing and help with choosing how this is arranged. I, I'm all for it. I think that's great. So then it's really a matter of asking people to help you. Is that comfortable? That looks comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good. Collaboration <laughs> is what everything's created up. Yeah. Okay. So you're, are you going to do all that now? Start asking and compiling? Would anything stop you from the joy of that process? Uh, I'm getting a lot of pressure to get where I'm living right now because I'm with my parents at this moment, so I'm getting a lot of pressure to have a job, There's which I don't. Of, There's plenty of time I like, to, yeah, to compile a I like, book and get a yeah. job. You can do both. There's no conflict. Uh-huh. There's time in every day to be applying for jobs and compiling books. Does that feel, uh, logical to you? I think I'm not wanting like a real job like she wants me to get. I still want my odd jobs where I have more freedom. But does that mean you don't have enough money to go get your own place and you have to stay with your family? Is that what you're saying? Your parents? Mm, no, I don't. I have plans to go up north, so I'm not planning okay. on staying here okay. much longer. And when you go up north, you want to um, continue to pursue a variety of different jobs that bring in your income. And there's no problem, but that makes that brings up some feelings for your mother? Or for who? Or yeah, you? for she's just putting the pressure on. So it's I get a lot of talk about it since I'm here now. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. So can you feel peace in yourself while she's expressing her way of loving you, but your way of loving yourself is different? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
anything else that um, I can help you with regarding this particular issue? Mm, this particular one mm, No, I don't think so. Good. So you're going to keep accessing the love to in eternity like you do naturally. You're going to keep creating your beautiful poems and other creations. And you're going to collaborate and compile and get help with that. And you're going to go up north and you're going to continue to do a variety of jobs to support your creative way of being a participant in the universe that fulfills you. Beautiful. What a, what a gift and wonderful. <laughs> I'm wondering if I haven't, I, when I wrote a lot of those poems, I was writing like prolifically. Yeah. They would just... They came through me like a lot. I was in in a state of inspiration daily and multiple times a day. Yeah. And I, um, it it doesn't come as often. Because I right just, now you need time to do other things. You need time to compile, and there'll be another period in your life where the waves will just overflow you with creativity. And isn't uh, that so great that the weather like that is controlled for us, so we get things done in a way that we should. Yay! <laughs> Good! I'm happy for you. This is all wonderful creations and news. I'm so happy to talk to you again. Yeah. You too. Yeah. Okay. So I will say goodbye for now and I'm sure our paths will cross again and keep talking. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. It is amazing to me over and over and over how the synchronicities of life bring us into matching experiences, um, experiences that speak to us in so many ways. Only earlier today, it was that the group was talking about this exact issue that Jackie Skype in about, that feeling of overwhelm when one is feeling so on purpose and so much love and yet there's just voices and emotions and thoughts coming from all different directions and how do we work with that. And so I was just delighted to see Jackie relax into herself and realize that all is well and the love is happening and there's a time for everything and it all works. It really does work so well. Mystery circles, mystery